Hey guys, this is your friend Risha. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're going to make a background color changer app on Code.org App Lab. So, this is the final piece you're going to have before we get started making it and see how it works. It's very orange. Woof, wasn't that cool? I think this is magic and it's going to be really hard. But no. Telling you guys, this is going to be super exciting, super fun, and super easy. Let's get started with our easy app. Let's get started. Okay. So, we're first going to go to code.org. I'm already signed in. Get signed in. If you're not signed up, please sign up. Then you can scroll down and you can see start a new project. There are more, but today we're just going to do App Lab. Then, we're going to start with the project. So this is going to be our tab to make. And I'm going to explain you guys. This is a part where you can rename and share. And remix. It's already remixed. Please do not, do not click remix again. And these are the pages. Code, design, and data. Data, you're going to use it in the future. But for today, we're going to use code and design. Then these is your toolbox. And this is your workspace. So let's get started. Based on the steps to make an app, I'm going to review it to you guys. Step number one. Define your purpose of the app. We already did that. And the purpose is background color changer. Now, step number two. Design your app. Step number three. Code your app. And step number four. Last and final. Please run your app and check. Wait, there's one more we're not going to do today, but the last step in the future we're going to do is publish the app. So, you can practice, 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 and you're finally going to make an app that you're going to publish. So, let's get started. Um, we're, first, we're done with step one, so we're going to go to step two, design. So, we're going to have a label that says... This is the label ID, you're going to remember that, and this is going to be the text where, the text part is where we're going to enter. We just don't want it to just be text, we want to enter to tell the user, this is what you need to do. So I'm going to click the buttons. change your background color. Okay. I need to fix this a little bit. Yeah. Now I'm gonna make the width a little bigger. I mean, make the hot or the burger. Okay. Now, we're going to do the text color. And here, I'm going to do it white. Can't even see it. <laughs> I'm going to do the background color black. Now, fonts, um, let's see, font family. There are lots of fonts you can try in code.org, um, app lab, so these are the fonts. Arial black, Arial, wait, Arial, Georgia, Plantino, Times, Courier, Wikipedia Console, Arial black, Comic, Impact, Lady Scenes, Tacoma, True Bridget, and wooden. I love comic. That's my favorite font. <laughs> so I'm gonna use comic. The font size, I like it to be 18. I'm gonna make it to bigger the height. 
Is it so smaller? Too big. Oh, that looks good. And now, let's see, text alternate. I'll be over here. So, strong demand is the part where you're gonna think, where should my text be? Starting. Starting from. So, where do you want your text to start from? Left, right, center, I guess the back. I like my text. Center, should I? So, there you go. Yeah. And buttons. We're gonna do seven colors. Starting with bottom one. Now the thread. And the text is going to be red. I'm now going to change the color for this one because it's already orange and I'm going to do orange. The third one. Remember, you always have to remember the IDs. So, Third one. I'm checking in yellow. And now, but I'm wrong, it's gonna be green. It can be dark green, but I'm just gonna be light green. And it's going to be in, button 6, it's going to be blue, yeah, button 4, no, button 5, it's going to be blue, actually, sorry. And now the text color is going to be blue, too. Bottom six is gonna be purple. The last one is gonna be pink, pinky, pinky. Okay, now back on court. And we're going to go to the third step code. And uh, we're going to use two blocks today. On event, which means when it's at property. So on event means when button one, when button one is clicked, change, change, screen, sorry, screen ones, background color to red. So it's going to be the same thing for every part. So let's get started. If you want, you can pause the video and try it by yourself. I'm going to use the strict on events first. I'm going to set property. Turn on. Second color, but this time, um, the color is going to change. It's going to be orange. Background color. Yellow. Screen one. Green. Set 
property. Thing one. Background color. Blue. Set property. Screen one again. Background color this time purple. And the last one. Set property. Green one, background color, pink. Okay, now is the funnest part that every, like, fun and exciting part that every app maker would like to do. Now, this is the fourth step. I love this part. It's really exciting. It's really happy. It's the part where you run and see your app. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna click run. And, I'm gonna click red. It works. Orange works. Hello. Green. Blue. Purple. And pink. Yippee! It works! Hooray! We're done making a background collection of app. As I told you, this was super easy. And wasn't it super fun? But we're not gonna just leave it like this. We're gonna rename it. So we're gonna rename it back ground. Color. And ground. And you can share it. You can share your happiness with your mom, dad, grandpa, anybody. You can send it to your phone or copy the link and send it. So yeah. Hope you like this video. I'm to subscribe my channel and the pop button. See you guys next time. Bye!